Videos, videos, videos. You know you need them, but what type of videos and which ones are best for your situation? If you want to reach new heights, connect with audiences, and grow your business in ways you never thought possible, you should incorporate these 20 videos that you can't afford to overlook. But I'm not just going to list off types of videos. I'm going to tell you what they're good for, why they're so good, and who can best benefit from using this type of video. At the end, I will give you one video type that can be used in addition to any of these video types, which essentially doubles your output. I don't like wasting time, so hit the like button, subscribe, and let's jump into it. The first video type is corporate videos. Corporate videos are so good because they're like the all around. You can raise brand awareness, you can promote, you can even make this an instructional video. They're honestly good for any purpose and anyone can use it. Businesses, brands, corporations, organizations, it, it's really really the all around video. The second type of video is a brand video. These videos are so good because they tell your company's story. A brand video is really good for letting your audience, whether that be a business or an individual, letting them know your story. So your morals, your values, and what you stand for. These videos boost brand awareness and they tell your audience why you do what you do. The third type of video is testimonials or more specifically customer stories. Testimonial videos are really good because they they show your audience why people have worked with you in the past and what they learn from working with you. Testimonials are really good for building trust with your audience, and it's really meant for you to gain more credibility within your specific niche. The fourth type of video is a staff video or an employee spotlight. Now, I love doing staff videos, and the reason that I like doing them is because they boost the spirits of your employees while also creating a company culture. I mean, who doesn't want to be highlighted for 10 years of being with one company or 20 years of not missing a single day of work or even just being a really, really good employee or employee of the month? I would say this video type is really meant for those who want to give back to their employees because, I mean, without your employees, you don't have a business. The fifth type of video is an internal training video. How many times have you repeated the same information over and over and over. I mean, what if you could duplicate yourself multiple times and it could play whenever it wanted? I mean, what this video is good for is actually in the name. It's a training video, but more specifically information that is really, really intricate or information that is repeated over and over. Or if people just want to refresh their memory on something that they already know. I would say this video type is really meant for those who don't want to consistently keep repeating information. Or if you have a really intricate system, you don't want to have have things fall through so you have one training video to train everybody exactly the same. The sixth type of video is a collaboration video. Now these videos are really good because not only do you get to collaborate with another company or individual, you might even get to collaborate with an influencer who can bring more business to your business. This video type is really good for making connections outside of your network because you have access to your collaborators network and they also have access to your network as well. It's also good for marketing because not only do you have access to their network, but you have access to their audience as well. This video is easily meant for anybody who wants to expand their network or expand their audience. The seventh type of video is an event video. These videos are so good because you get to capture the moment, remember the moment, and also show others what they might have missed out on. These events are really good for capturing the moment and you can take it a step further. You can interview people who might have attended the event, the event planners, or even vendors who attended your event. This type of video is obviously meant for anyone with an event, but you can even use this event to promote your next event and show people what they missed out on. The eighth type of video is a live stream video. And these are really, really good for interacting with your audience. I mean, when else can you interact with your audience in real time, they give you questions and you can answer those right on the spot. Live streams are really meant for engaging with your audience even more. Not only that, but you can help people out who couldn't attend an event in person. The ninth type of video is a podcast video. A podcast video or video podcast is really, really good because it doubles a medium you already have. If you have a podcast already and you find a way to record it, then you've already doubled the amount of content that you can put out. Video podcasts are really good because not everybody wants to listen to a podcast. Some people want to sit there and watch you talk. They want to see your mannerisms. And also these are really good for posting on posting clip on social media. Video podcasts are really meant for anybody who wants to have some source of long form content. On top of that, it actually boosts your search engine optimization because not only do you have an audio form, a video form, you can even write it down and have a written form. So this boosts your search engine optimization so, so much. Video type number 10, commercials. Commercials are so good because they are pretty much the upper echelon of advertisement. 
If you can distribute them correctly, commercials can pay huge dividends. I mean, just look at the Super Bowl commercials. Everybody talks about those commercials and those ads for weeks and months on end. Commercials are really good for promoting your service, your product, or pretty much anything. These type of videos are meant for pretty much anybody from small businesses, big businesses, big organizations, companies, charities, nonprofit organizations, really any and everybody. The 11th type of video is a product video. Almost like a commercial, a product video can do the exact same thing. The only difference is you're promoting a very specific product. A product video is really, really good for promoting an already existing or brand new product to a wider audience. For example, let's say you have a product that you've been testing and you want to market it to a wider audience. You would release a product video and you would get more sales in return. A product video is meant for any business to promote their already existing product or to promote a brand new product to a brand new audience. Audience. The 12th type of video is an explainer video. These type of videos are really, really good to show the benefit of a product or service. An explainer video can be really beneficial because it shows your audience why they need this or why they should want this service. If you're finding this information valuable, please hit the like and subscribe button. The 13th type of video is a promotional video or sometimes called a promo video. The reason that a promo video can do really, really well is because it doesn't have this salesy undertone. It brings the conversation conversation more down to a personal, authentic level. A promo video is good because it is highly shareable, it shows a big return on investment, and in the process you build an immense amount of trust. Promo videos are really good for building awareness, whether that be in your already existing audience or attracting a whole new audience or visitors. Do away with those PowerPoint videos because the 14th type of video is a presentation video. You tell me what you would rather have, a boring PowerPoint presentation or a compelling video that tells a story about what the details are in that PowerPoint. These are why presentation videos are really, really powerful because they can be an enticing pitch that can be sent over and over and over and over. This type of video is good for explaining any type of information that may be confusing and turning it into a really, really interesting presentation. And I would suggest this type of video for anyone who's trying to make their sales pitch or any type of pitch or a presentation that much more engaging. The 15th type of video is a video series. Video series is really, really good because let's just say somebody stumbles upon one of your how-to videos and then they go to the next one, the next one, the next one. Now they are so much more connected with your brand or with your business or with you as an individual. This type of video is really, really good because your audience can reach your relevant content that much faster. Not only that, you have an increased visibility, but what you may not know is your complex content is that much more easily digestible. Think about it as a movie and TV show. TV shows are just a little bit more digestible because they're broken down into episodes, whereas a movie, you might have to sit and watch a two hour and 30 minute movie. This type of video is for any business or individual who wants to make their content easily digestible and discoverable. The 16th type of video is an onboarding video. With an onboarding video, you help orient people in the right direction by giving them your expectations, your company values, your core values, and anything else you want to include. I think onboarding videos are a really, really good way, and I personally use them because they're a way to make repeatable information so you don't have to waste any more time on a meeting or schedules. I think onboarding videos are really good for any business company or individual who wants repeatable information readily available without any delays. A lot of people like to call this snackable videos. I like to call these micro videos, but we'll just encompass number 17 under social media videos. You may already know this, but Almost everybody uses social media, and that's why social media videos are really, really powerful. I mean, they keep people on these platforms, and they're free advertisement. They're a free way to engage a new audience, so why not use it? Social media videos are very, very good at capturing people's attention to educate them about your business, who you are, your product, your service, for them to take action. This type of video is for anybody who wants to interact or touch bases with their already existing audience, or if you want to build a new one, because it's such a blow barrier to entry, and it's free. The 18th type of video type is user-generated content. User-generated content is a very authentic way to showcase your product or service. This is because the people who are reviewing or showcasing your product do not actually work for you, so they can be as honest and open as they want to be. This type of video helps you build immense trust. It also helps you reach a wider audience, and you're not 
personally making each and every single piece of content. So it reduces the amount of effort you have to put in to make this piece of content. This type of video is for anybody who wants to generate more content without putting in too much effort while at the same time creating that social proof. The 19th type of video is short films and documentaries. Short film and documentaries are really good because you can zig while everybody else is zagging. While everybody is trying to grow their following or their social media, you can attach your name to something that could be really, really huge. And how many companies wouldn't want to attach their names to the number one documentary or the number one movie or the number one TV show? I mean, because they already have this huge audience. These types of videos or films are really good because it increases your credibility amongst potential stakeholders. And you can attach your name to an artist or art that has achieved greatness. This type of video or film is for anyone who dares to be different. You can highlight or attach your company or name to something that can be a piece of great entertainment or art that makes a positive impact. The 20th and last type of video type is a specialty video. And that can be drone footage, that can be a time lapse, that can be animation, really anything that is really specialized. This type of specialized content is really good because I mean, it, it's a specialized video. It's a great way to show your audience something different instead of the same repeated content over and over and over so they don't get bored. This type of video is really good to have a refreshing take on your already existing content um, and to also experiment on what your audience might like or want to see more of. And the bonus video type that can double or even triple your video output is a behind the scenes video. Behind the scenes videos are really good because I mean, who doesn't want to see how a product comes together or how it's made? This is a good little to no effort way of making a bunch of videos while also adding a humanizing element to the videos you've already made. For example, in my case, I use behind the scenes content all the time. I take a GoPro, I strap it to my chest whenever I'm on a shoot, or I may strap it to my camera, or I may hire somebody else to shoot some behind the scenes content. Then I will use that content to post on social media or use in these videos, or even show it to some clients to show what I have done before and what it's like to be on set with me. Now there is a caveat. If you have some sort of secret launch or you want this particular shoot to be private and behind the scenes videos may not be for you. But if you want to double or even triple your already existing content, then behind the scenes videos are a great way to do that. Now that I've given you all these different video types that you can use, I would suggest to use these video types in tandem with one another. For example, if you're shooting a commercial, shoot some social media clips on the side while also shooting some specialty clips. Or you have an event video and a live stream that you also want to make into some testimonial videos because a lot of your clients are attending this event. Or you have some training videos where you also want to introduce your staff and have some staff videos while at the same time turning it into a video series. Remember, one video is not going to change much, but multiple videos can pay huge dividends. If I left out any type of video ideas, please let me know in the comments. Or if you have any tips that you want to share about a certain video type, then drop that below as well. Me or anybody else would love to hear. But otherwise, like and subscribe for more content like this. But until next time, keep harnessing the power of video.